Rufayda says, what is the difference between Salatul Duha and Salatul Ishraq? Salatul Ishraq, there is an authentic hadith which some scholars doubt. Where the Prophet says, alayhi salatu wasalam, whoever prays Fajr in congregation, meaning that he's in the masjid, and remains seated, remembering Allah Azza wa Jal until the sun rises. Then he prays two rak'ahs. These are called two ish, uh, rak'ah of ishraq. Ishraq, by the way, means sunrise. Allah will reward him as if he performed Umrah and Hajj, complete, complete, complete. So, scholars authenticate this hadith. Other scholars doubt it and say, no, it is not authentic. Either way, it is a proven fact that the Prophet ﷺ used to stay in the masjid until sunrise. Now, the companions used to do this. Female companions as well used to do this. The Prophet ﷺ entered once upon Mother Zainab bin Jahsh, if I'm not mistaken, or Juwayriya bint al-Harith. I'm, I'm forgetting, I'm getting. So he left her when she was sitting, remembering Allah came after the sun had risen. She was still remembering Allah Azza wa Jal. And he said to her, I said four phrases that are equivalent with all what you had said. Now, the point I'm trying to make is that even the women companions used to sit where they had prayed Fajr and remembering Allah until the sun rises. So this is a great sunnah. Whether the hadith is authentic or not, this is an issue of dispute. I personally believe it's authentic. Now, this is called Salatul Ishraq, which falls under the umbrella of Salatul Duha. Because Duha prayer begins from 10 minutes to 15 after the sun rises until 10 minutes before the Adhan of Dhuhr. But Ishraq prayer has more conditions added to it, such as it has to be done in the masjid, you must not leave the masjid, and you must engage in dhikr, not in chit-chatting. So they are of the same species, but of a different category. And Allah Azza wa Jalla knows best.